everybody, Wanna Wisdom here. I know what you're thinking. You're probably assuming we're gonna do something with Amiibo, right? Maybe unbox something, showcase a complete set. Not the case. Uh, we are at the pool table. If you wonder where I've been, why we've only had, you know, one video a day instead of the usual two plus that we've had for so long, I sort of hit on that in the uh, most recent Skylanders research video. That being Bad Juju's Mother Nature upgrade video, roughly the first 10 to 15 minutes we kind of hit on that and some other miscellaneous smallish channel update type stuff. So, uh, if you're interested in, you know, where I've been, why the <clears throat> we've lacked, you know, our usual two videos, etc., uh, feel free to watch that. I need to keep this one as short and sweet as possible, uh, which is often difficult for me to do, but I say that because it is 2017. It is January 1st, 2017. As of the recording this, it is 3.53 in the morning. Uh, I have been extremely busy. I basically, to put it in a nutshell, I've not gotten to play Skylanders aside from last night. And I've not gotten to play Minecraft, Stardew Valley, anything gaming-wise since like a day or two before Christmas. It's just been really, really busy. I'm not sure things are going to let up, but speaking of Christmas, I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas. Got to spend some time uh, with your friends and family. Maybe got to see some family members you don't get to see very often. Uh, maybe got to travel a little bit. As of today, I hope everyone has had a great New Year's celebration, whatever you do, whether you go to bed early or you watch pre-recorded East Coast crud uh, on the TV, uh, or whether you go out and about have some fun or just, you know, do a marathon and uh, binge watch YouTube videos, whatever you do, I hope you had a great time. And as we proceed on here into 2017, this is a little item that might come in handy. <laughs> and... We've done several of these in the past. I don't believe I had one last year. This, obviously, if you didn't know from the title or this or uh, just common sense of a new year and an unboxing of something this size, it is a 16-month 2017 calendar, obviously being Skylander-themed. Now, uh, this was a gift. It was from my nephew and my sister, so I don't know where it came from. I don't know the price. However, having been... Uh, been through the uh, years I've been through. Calendars are kind of interesting, okay? You generally spend somewhere between like $9.95 and $14.99. Some of them, you know, like the really big fancy ones, you might do $19 or something. But here's the thing. It either goes one of two ways. They're just there year-round or usually February to March, somewhere in there is the magical time that calendars just disappear. <laughs> and you can always find one, but particularly these sort of like themed printed ones, it's oftentimes a case where you're like, oh yeah, I meant to pick that up, you know, around New Year's and you didn't do it. And you're like, well, I'll just, you know, grab it the next time I'm at Barnes and Noble or I run into whatever store it is where you pick them up. You'll still be able to find a calendar, but the specific themed one, Skylanders in this case, very, very often times, there's like one batch, and unless it's just like a super hot seller, you know, like LOL Cat First Year Edition or something, very many times the publishers don't crank out a second batch. So, what I'm telling you that for is, if you want this, begin trying to find it now. I would assume uh, bookstores, office supplies, possibly Walmarts and Targets, uh, and then of course online, Amazon in particular. Somewhere that you frequently shop or have access to, if you really, really want this, you can probably find this, and I don't think you're going to spend more than $20. That said, I believe the publisher's brown trout. We will look at the back last, because I don't want to spoil what it actually is. And I need my knife. And alas, through the powers of my editing, we have successfully opened this. Uh, which, if you've got uh, your mom, a sister, a girlfriend, uh crazy uncle, whoever it may be that has long fingernails, take advantage of that attribute and use them to open your calendars. Otherwise, you need a knife like myself. So we're going to look at the back just last because I want to go through this month by month. So it's sort of a surprise. Ordinarily, I'm the type of person I oftentimes when the calendar is given to me, if I'm purchasing it, yes, I'll preview, make sure I'm getting what I want. But if it's given to me, a lot of times I know as dumb as it may sound, I kind of like to have the surprise, as weird as that may be. So, uh, what we begin with, this 2016, assuming you could find this in stores, which I assume you could, 
they kind of cover you for the you know end of the year the last quarter of the year september october november and december which is now of no use to us so january 2017 we've got jet vac in his standard giants form if you will new lander pose if whatever you want to call it series one I don't have a big issue with that because the colors kind of tie in with what I associate with winter. But I think a slam bam, a water element, you know, a snowy type kingpin, as we previously saw, might be better suited to the months. Just my opinion. February 2017, Love Potion popped his zero complaints. That is a perfect fit. And they made use of an alt deco, so you gotta love that. Uh, coming around, also note you've got the previous month and the uh, next month. Another thing I should point out, they've got the typical holidays label, but they put a lot of detail into the design of this calendar. This is how it's been with the previous Skylander calendars I've had. You know, you've got the Magic Element logo there. And then if you bring this in to the day itself, you've got Magic in the background sort of washed out in a white fade. But right here, trimming the top and the bottom of the days themselves, it's the... Hmm, do they have light and dark? No. It's Magic Fire Undead Earth. <laughs> magic Fire Undead Earth. Okay, so it's it's a little... It's a spin. Uh, there's some elements not represented, interestingly enough. Let's go back to January. Oh! Magic Fire Undead Earth. Okay. Don't know if they're trying to tell something. I guess if you... If you wanted to see the air or the life element or the tech element in those little uh, trim slots, not going to happen. So uh, that's interesting. Very interesting. I would have thought they would have used all eight or possibly ten, if you will. Uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case. March. Stealth Elf. Kind of her standard pose, if you will. I have zero issues with that. March, you generally think of spring, spring green, St. Patrick's Day, life coming back. It works quite well there. So note we do have the life um, overlay. It's obviously all color themed. But again, the trim here, it remains kind of just those same four elements. Okay, very cool. Uh, this, if you do, did not know, this is a Springtime Trigger Happy. I believe that was the correct name, right? Nonetheless, it's the alt deco of Big Bang Trigger Happy. And it's very cool to see that associated. And again, if you didn't know, here on Sunday the 16th, it's Easter. And thus, it sort of ties in quite nicely there, does it not? We have quite a few Easter uh, alt decos for Imaginators this year. May 2017, it's Wham Shells. Appears to be light core Wham Shell based on the mace. Um, that's bittersweet. I feel like there was a time he was very, very popular. And primarily because just hardly anyone had him. <laughs> and uh, this goes all the way back to SSA. If you don't believe me, I was there. I lived it. I experienced it firsthand. Uh, then in Giants, of course, you sort of got, you know, like the light core pools and everything. A few more people got him. I can see it making sense. May, you typically get out of school, you go to the beach, it warms up, uh, spend time at the water. I just, I don't know. I feel like maybe we should have pulled a more recent character uh, as opposed to like or Wham Chili. Actually, looks pretty good here, but just being subjective as I can for you. June, it's Prison Break. I can't really ever argue with Prison Break. <laughs> it's, uh, when you think of him, he's a rock golem. You don't necessarily, maybe Scorp would have been better for like, ooh, the heat of summer type of a vibe, you know. I think he works. I think you could, again, probably have maybe gone with a more recent character or an Imaginator to sort of tie in with that. But being who I am and what I like, SSA, Earth Element, Prison Break falls into both those categories. I really can't complain. Now, if he would have been December or February, yeah, then we've kind of got some issues, but many, many months, uh, he would just kind of fall into place, and I would have zero issues with it. June, that's sort of where we're at there. July 2017, okay, another Earth element. We've got the Golden Queen, so we could view her, is this her Imaginator debut? Is this what she was perceived in Trap Team? Nonetheless, we've sort of got the villain, you know, reformed sensei, good guy now type of a theme going on. Earth Element, July, Scorched Earth. Might have been cool to have something, maybe not Earth this time, maybe Fire. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. But again, it's, I can't really complain. And I like that they got her involved. They got a female. They got a villain. Uh, they got an item of interest, if you will. It's not just Spiral, Gilgrunt, and Trigger Happy uh, that you've seen on your calendars thus far. So that works. August 2017. Okay. Very cool. We've got the Chompy Mage. We will assume in like Imaginator fashion here as a sensei. Uh, you can never go wrong with the Chompy Mage. Now, it would have been kind of cool to see him in December as sort of the Alt Deco Jingle Bell Chompy Mage, but personally, August, I associate with like the hottest month of the summer. Uh, so again, fire character, you know, p take your pick. Uh, a couple others would have fallen in. He might sort of tie in better, you know, the March, April, May area, uh, perhaps, and then August, at least in my little uh, scope on the world. But again, the Chompy Mage is awesome. He's in the calendar. I can't really complain too much. Uh, if you've not played him in Imaginators, he's absolutely hilarious, by the way. All right, September 2017, we've got Spyro. <laughs> appears to be probably his Series 2 pose. Here's the thing. Could they have gone with somebody newer, uh, somebody, you know, less known, uh, if you will? Absolutely. Do I have an issue with him being in September? Not really. And the thing is, Spyro is sort of how they sold the Skylanders franchise. I don't think they had to do it, but they did it, and it worked very well for them. <laughs> and uh, regardless of how people feel about it, it's what happened, it's what we have in the history books now. I don't really have any any objection there so uh, i think it's good to see some familiar face you wouldn't want this to just you open it up and it's like the one and done characters type of a thing you know so this is sort of your star power your throwbacks him in prison break uh stealth elf as well if you will so i think it worked quite well october if this is not undead i will be pretty upset because again it just makes the most sense all right, very cool. Chop Chop. Now, again, and this does appear to be Series 2 Giants, uh, if you will. I love Chop Chop. Again, I go all the way back. SSA remains my favorite game, my favorite cast of characters. I think they probably could have drawn from a more recent uh, game, perhaps. Uh, Crypt King, uh, Shortcuts, uh, Wolf King uh, might have been a choice. But Quintessential Skylander. Chop Chop, it's October, it's undead. Again, I can't really complain with what they've given us here. So, uh, could you know, again, just kind of mix up the cast a little bit more, perhaps? But hey, uh, overall, zero complaints there. November, I love Eruptor, it's cool to have a fire character. I don't really associate fire in November. Uh, <laughs> Maybe it's really dry like it is around here, you know, it's tinderbox or something, but I'd see that more as like a July. Maybe swap him and Chompy Mage. Uh, maybe him and Prism Break swap spots here. Um, again, it's great going back to the firepower, no pun intended, of like your old school, instantly recognized Skylanders, right? But I feel like maybe November is not the month for Eruptor. I don't think I'll be alone in that dissension there. Now, December, what will we get this time? I hope it's water. I hope it's snowy. Uh, we've got plenty of options there now. Oh, oh, well, hey, you know what? Chaos is kind of like the Chompy Mage. You just, you know, can't really go wrong with him. So something I will say as we see Chaos here... I think a great selection for November uh, and somebody that color scheme kind of actually ties in with fall and crumbled leaves, if you will. Dr. Crankcase, a uh, universally beloved villain. He's now a reformed uh, villain and serves as a sensei of the quickshot class. I think he would have been an ideal selection here. Really spice things up, get another Doomlander in, kind of ties in with the Golden Queen. But uh, hey, it is what it is. If Chaos is here, hey. Yeah, that's fine for December. It kind of, it sort of fits in with December a little bit. Uh, particularly when you think of, you know, technically January for me and February would be the more, you know, ooh, it's winter time. You know, because technically if you go by the calendar, you know, solstice, we go like 21st of December. So most of December is technically in the fall. <laughs> it's, uh, 
it's chaos i can't say anything bad about it now i guess the 16 months again would be the preceding four i actually purchased a calendar from my nephew's fundraiser at school it's a garfield one i have it hanging in my office it's awesome and what they did it was a 16 month too and i was like oh that's sad i'm getting it in like november you know i can't even use this you know first portion of it i've never seen a calendar quite like it but you come in and you actually have a full four months after the fact so it's a situation where after december 2017 we'd flip the page i've got january 2018 not just four months on one page but then i flip it again and we've got february march and april uh, so they're basically giving you a window to make sure that you purchase another garfield calendar uh, but the artwork on that one is really, really cool. And, uh, similarly, my one knock on this calendar, and I've said this with the other Skylander calendars we've taken a look at. This is a horrible example. But right here, okay, like, say that you're picking this up for your kids, right? Or, uh, you got this from your parents or something. Maybe, heaven forbid, but let's say you go back to school here. And let's say that you knew that Wave 5 of Skylanders was coming out. And the video game you really want is coming, and you have basketball practice. It kind of gets hard to start stacking things. Like, if you use this, and you're like, dentist appointment, jury duty, bills due, whatever, you know, falls into your life. You don't have a ton of space here. You know, like, if it's my birthday, yes. But if it's, like, your birthday, you know, whatever homework assignment due, whatever's going on at work, or, you know, whatever it may be. You just don't get a ton of space on these. And again, I guess, you know, for the target audience, you know, it's going to be more like, you know, hey, you know, David's birthday, uh, you know, grandma comes to visit type of a thing, you know. So, but just being as subjective as I can, uh, in order to make this what I would feel like the ultimate calendar, we would have a bigger date box, just so you can kind of have the freedom to log everything if you're so inclined. Granted, most people probably are pinning this in on their phones or their, you know, tablets or something. But, uh, hey, I just, I do what I can for you. So, this is our cast of characters. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. If I had to pick one that bothered me the most, it would probably be Eruptor. And not anything to do with Eruptor, just I don't associate him with November. <laughs> and again, love that. Awesome. Great choice here. Stealth Elf. Sham, you know, bang, bang, bang. Uh, maybe switch him around a little bit, but hey. Uh, that said, let me know your thoughts on this calendar. Let me know, did you get this calendar for Christmas? Uh, do you pick it up at the local store so you have it for 2017? Uh, how do you feel about the character roster? Would you like to see a deviation from sort of our old guard, Spyro, Wham Shell, Chop Chop, Prism Break, Eruptor, Triggs, Stealth Elf, etc. And see more current game characters cast in? Like, would you prefer, you know, maybe, okay, Spyro and Stealth Elf, and then give me a bunch of Imaginators-based characters? Would you like to see, hey, what about maybe show some love for the guest stars? Maybe put Tree Rex in here. Maybe have a Blast Zone. Uh, maybe, you know, a Snapshot type of a thing. Uh, and is it a situation where you're kind of like me and it's like, you know, what about Scorp and Starstrike and, you know, some of the other Fright Rider, you know? Would you like to see some of the one-and-done characters that were never reposed? Uh, or is this just pretty much ideal for you? <laughs> so, also, I assume some of you are like myself if you're watching my channel. Uh, and I know you're also going to be bothered by Eruptor and his placement in November. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope this helps you out, showcases what's available to you. Uh, again, I've I've had several Skylander calendars. They've all sort of been the smaller ones. Pretty much every time there's something that I seriously took issue with in terms of the character placement. Not necessarily selection. Uh, could I have picked a character that I thought would better suit things? Yes. But just like Eruptor in November this time, eh, I don't know about that. But uh, nonetheless, I wanted to get this out there for you. Kind of a surprise deal, nothing fancy. I'm trying as best I can to find Chain Reaction, Boom Bloom, Thumpin' Woompa, all that Wave 3 stuff I've not been able to track down. Pit Boss, uh, for example. 
I just haven't had the time to do it. And when I have, and I've made the time, I've not found anything that we needed. So uh, keep your fingers crossed. We'll get that taken care of. I got more research coming out. Uh, I've got to record it all. I mean, I have, honest to gosh, been super insanely busy. And uh, that's why I'm doing this at 4 in the morning. So uh, that said, I hope, again, everybody had a great Christmas. Uh, I know for many of you, the holiday is very sadly wrapping up. Uh, so that really sucks. Uh, not only if you go back to school, but work. Uh, pretty much anything, really. Uh, Christmas and New Year is just, you know, universally beloved. And it's always sad to see them go, but hey. Uh, 2017 is here. The world is not over, as many predicted. At least not yet. And uh, hey, can't complain too much. So uh, again, my apologies on my voice. If you want to know what's up with it, check out Bad Juju Mother Nature. Uh, next video, Mystical Bad Juju, will probably take her down the flip path. Uh, the bottom one with uh, Junior. Then probably Flare Wolf, Buckshot, Kingpin. We'll finally get back to Kingpin and the Golden Queen. My apologies there. We'll continue on through the game. Uh, I got a lot of cool stuff planned in Weasdom Plays Minecraft as well as Mind Logic Season 2 action. Uh, so stay tuned. I just need time to do all that stuff. <laughs> so, nonetheless, hope everybody had a great New Year's Eve. Hope you're having a great New Year's. I think we've pretty much covered all the time zones by this point. We got a few few stragglers out there in the ocean, uh, but soon it will be 2017 for everyone. <laughs> and I uh, hope everyone will have a great year. Uh, a lot of people like to knock 2016 says, "I thought it was pretty good." But uh, hey, I tend to be that sort of a person. So uh, 2017, I've got high hopes for you. I hope you do too. No clue on the price, 10 to 20 bucks. If you want it, start looking now. Because again, something I've noticed throughout my time on this planet, <laughs> certain calendars, particularly this style, oftentimes they just disappear after a certain point. And it's never made sense to me. It it's happens with car calendars I want. One year I can snag them. The next I can't find them. I forget to buy it. You know, like, or check for it. And then I go and I'm like, hey, you going to get this in stock? And it's like, oh, well, we're not going to restock any of those. And it's like, oh, that's unfortunate. I guess I'll take the plain one. But uh, like I said, if you want it, be on the lookout for it. Try to snag it. You're not going to get ripped off. It's calendar. If people scalp these. There's something really wrong with the person. So, uh, Nonetheless, I will crank out the videos as best I can for you. Maybe we'll get back to our two a day. Uh, we'll see how it pans out. But I'll quit rambling. My apologies. I'm dead tired. I went to bed last night. I got about 90 minutes, although I don't think I slept much of that time that I was actually in bed. And then I got up at 6. And I've been going ever since. 6 a.m., not p.m., not living the YouTube lifestyle there. But, uh, 6 a.m. yesterday. Uh, and it's probably 4.15, 4.20, and here I am. So, yeah, living the dream, I tell you. <laughs> so, by the way, back here, just as a bonus for you, it's the Ocarina of Time uh, link, which I really, really like. I don't really have the money to buy a second one, so I'm just going to keep this one sealed up. I like it that much. Uh, plus, I have Link and Toon Link, and uh, I don't really know. I don't have... A function for him just yet so plus I kind of want to pick up a second one to open I just want to wait and see if I can catch them on a sale or if the price will drop I don't think we'll see the three dollar prices I got most of the Animal Crossing Amiibos with but maybe drop them down to like $8.99 or something that's a significant chunk when you're picking up several so uh, nonetheless I did pick him up that's the only one I got I really like the 8-bit one but again I just I don't have the money for it at this point in time so I'm holding out in hopes for a sale but this one it looks to be really really well done that's what's killing me about not unboxing it uh the sword and the shield super intricately detailed but so uh, nonetheless i hope you're all having a great 2017 i hope you're sleeping right now unless you're playing skylanders or minecraft or uh maybe you got stardew valley for christmas uh who knows but uh i'll quit rambling thanks for watching i'll catch you back here for more action from the pool table